Okay, before me is the uh, triple IPA that I brewed. And uh, it's uh, Saturday about 12, 12.07. I know it's early to drink, but I can't wait. I bottled these two weeks ago. And I have to put it inside this bowl because if I've ever, if I've ever had a problem with homebrew, it's that it's over carbonated and not enough. Uh, but I'm a little bit fearful this is going to be under carbonated for a couple reasons. So this is real live uh, television here, folks. We're going to see what happens. I didn't, um, I didn't chill these, and I had them downstairs in the uh, basement for a week to carbonate. But it was a little bit cool. It was on the low side, so I brought them up to the kitchen, the two cases, with the idea that maybe they would. Uh, carbonate a bit quicker I'm I'm nervous this is not carbonated that's that's what I'm concerned about but there's a chance it could be over carbonated so we'll see okay well that's a good sound there's a bit of a fizz there let me go get a glass I was so skeptical that this was going to be right that I didn't even bring a glass out. I was prepared for it to either blow up in my face or not have a um, have a carbonation at all. Now it's going to be on the warm side because I didn't I didn't chill it. There we go, people. The carbonated. Woohoo! I opened a bottle last week, which was early, uh, but I wanted to get a sense for it if it was if it was coming along. And it was flat as a pancake, man. There was no, well, there was a little bit of carbonation, but not much. But I also realized that a weekend's not sufficient. There's a reason why they say two weeks. So here's the color. So what I did on this is I got a, uh, a double IPA kit. I might have talked about it before, so I apologize if this is redundancy. And then I uh, hopped it up more, and then I also put... Uh, more uh, corn sugar into it, which is very convertible to alcohol. So I think the rule of thumb is two cups of corn sugar in a five-gallon batch adds one percent ABV. And when I did the um, when I did the hydrometer testing on it, I thought there was something defective about my hydrometer because this was coming up about thirteen point five percent ABV or fourteen, and I'm like, that's about as high as this beer can go. It's more like a barley wine. So I don't know. I'm very excited. Hopefully it doesn't kill me with some kind of strain of bacteria, but it looks great. Wow, that's stiff, but it's delicious. Here's a roll of thumb. I'm sure I've mentioned it before, if not here somewhere else. Oh, this is absolutely delicious. It's really, really hoppy though, as it should be. This is a this is kind of a clone of um, Russian Rivers Pliny the Younger, which is uh, their variation on their double, which is Pliny the Elder. Uh, so they just uh, tweak their their uh, their mash kit also, just on a very large scale, and then they charge twice as much for it. Pliny the Elder is still pretty expensive, but the uh, Younger is even more expensive, and you can't find it anywhere besides California at their at their pubs, they have two pubs, and sometimes in Philly at certain places, only a few places get it. They're distributors in Philly. So I've said this before, really good beer you can drink warm, without a doubt. Even though this is pretty hoppy, it's absolutely delicious. And if it cools down a bit, I think the hoppiness flavor will blend in a bit better. Right now it's just really sticking out. But when this beer cools down, it'll congeal a little bit better. This is what's towards the end of the of the uh, of the secondary too. I I make a note of which bottles came first and which ones came last, and I tend in my own drinking to work backwards because it's not really great to serve one of your last beers that you bottled to friends because it tends to be very a lot of sentiment in it and a lot of junk. So I just drink that for personal use. But this is pretty clear. It's uh, got that beautiful color though. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of crap in it, which is good. A few a few floaties, not much. So this, I'm going to declare victory, man. I didn't pour out the rest of this. I might drink that separately. It just depends. I did have a, a primary uh, fermenter, and then I transferred that over, and it was flat, 
flat bottom, and then I transferred to a secondary, which was uh, a conical fermenter, which is great when you go to bottle because it really maximizes the amount of usable liquid that you can bottle. And then the trub at the bottom, it just uh, it's just much more concentrated because of the cone. It just sits in the bottom versus like in a flat, uh, flat fermenter, you know, you lose probably your last uh, four or five beers uh, just because of the flatness. The conical will get all the bottom, start the bottom, work its way up. It's just a surface thing, surface area. So this turned out really great. I don't have any fear that it's not going to get better at this point. Uh, it passed the, the 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 big the big test, which is did it carbonate properly? Did it over carbonate? Because I've had problems with that sometimes when I use a lot of hops in the beer. Uh, and I did this with my uh, my Belgian that I brewed. I turned it into kind of my own mutant version of a Belgian IPA, and it had so many hops that even though when I opened it, it was stable, once it hit the air, it just went crazy. So I had to change the name from Armistice Ale, which I brewed on an Armistice Day, to Anarchy Ale, because once it hit the air, all that hop suppression just blew up because it was oxygenating. Uh, so I've had problems like usually on the end of things being over carbonated. Now, I did a couple things this time to compensate for that. I, I left this in the uh, left this brew in the primary for an extra week, uh, assuming that it would not get oxygenated because it still had enough fermentation to go. And I had to leave it an extra week because I had put more sugar into it. So it wasn't just me doing that without a reason. Um, and I also, in my bottling, I've probably mentioned this before, and I actually use a tape measure. I put two two inches in the neck versus one inch, and that has made a huge difference. It undercarbonates it a little bit, but the safety part is it doesn't build up the pressure. One inch is a lot in this bottle uh, for for that carbonation to go into. That's not a lot. It's it's too much carbonation for the space available. Let's put it that way. Uh, so I put two inches, which is a bit further down the neck, and that's not traditional. But I found whenever I tweak a kit, and even if I were just to brew something naturally, I'd probably at least add an inch and a half in the neck versus just uh, an inch. So this turned out beautifully. Oh, I'm so happy I did this. I got the kit for like $45 through Amazon Prime, free shipping. I got almost two cases out of it. And again, if this was Pliny the Younger, I would be paying probably $100 a case. So I would spend $200 for a beer of this quality. Now, it may not be exactly the same, but it's the same style. And uh, all Russian River does is they just mix the formula a bit differently. They take their double IPA, they take the Elder, and they do just what I did. They add more hops and more whatever their fermentables are, probably corn sugar or dextrose or something. And they do the same thing I do. They're just a lot more sophisticated about it. They're using a lot better equipment and they're a lot more knowledgeable. So I am kind of the dumb version of Russian River. Um, but I would say definitively, this turned out to be stellar. And I am so excited because it's only going to get better. It's not going to get overly carbonated at this point. It's already had two weeks. So most of the carbonation is done. I could put this back down in my basement and chill it and rack it. And this beer will be good for quite some time. Now, they say to serve IPA sooner versus later, but I don't think that pertains to uh, doubles and triple IPAs. I think the hop characteristics and the alcohol characteristics make it kind of more like a Belgian in some ways, uh, more preservable, especially the higher alcohol. But I'm very, very excited. I just have to come up with a name for this. It's turned out great. I'm wearing my prison prison mic bandana. You don't want to go to prison, man. You don't want to drop the soap. And don't drop the beer either. Hopefully you know the uh, the office reference, prison mic. I'm prison Eric, yo. <laughs>